Hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. Dimple here again welcoming you all today for my next Android session video. Uh, today we will see what is CTS, GTS, VTS in Android. CTS stands for uh, Compatibility Test Suit. GTS stands for GMS test suit and VTS stands for uh, vendor test suit. So uh, these are very very important uh, aspects in Android whereas without uh, these test cases being passed the Android manufacturers will not have permission <coughs> permission to release their uh, software so let's go uh, in deep uh, like what is the exact difference between them and what is the uh, importance of each one of them uh, so what is CTS, GTS, VTS? In the context of Android security and device management, CTS, GTS, VTS are three different sets of tests and certification process. Let's go uh, through them one by one. First one is CTS. CTS is nothing as I already told, compatibility test suit. It's used to ensure that an Android device software and hardware are compatible with Android platform. So you all know there will be software part as well as hand, uh, hardware part in Android. So the software and the hardware should be compatible with each other. If you write some software which is not applicable for certain hardware, the entire Android phone will not be working as per you as you wish okay so in order to make sure your android device is working fine and in order to make sure the software and hardware are up to date and they are compatible with each other we use cts So uh, CTS includes a suit of test cases that cover various aspects of Android such as app compatibility, security and platform integrity. Okay, it's not a big thing. It, they are just a certain test cases to make sure your software, hardware and other uh, things like security, platform integrity, all these are maintained. So uh, CTS verifies that the device software, including the Android versions and any modifications made by the device manufacturer is consistent with the Android compatibility definition document. So this there is an Android compatibility definition document which is defined by Google. And uh, suppose as a manufacturer I, manufacturer, I write some different uh, customizable code on my Android device I need to make sure whatever code I write it is compatible with what Google has defined the compatibility document and also that code will not break the previous features whatever was introduced in my Android device so the version matches the software matches the hardware matches and it will not break the security it will not break the integrity all these things I have to make sure that's why we write a certain test cases uh, hundreds and thousands of test cases include in the CTS and we, we have to pass all the test cases in order to release the software as a device manufacturer Android device manufacturers must pass the CTS to be able to ship their devices with Google Play services and access other Google apps and services as well so i hope cts is clear so uh, let's move on to gts next a gms test suit so it's a set of tests that are part of google's efforts to ensure the quality and compatibility of android devices that include google apps and services cts we saw it's depending on the entire device the entire hardware software everything it will include but gts is only a subset of google provide features for example Google Play YouTube GMS uh, Google Maps all the Google uh, related features whatever we see on our devices we have to make sure those test cases are passed in order to uh, release my device as a manufacturer so while CTS focuses on the core compatibility of Android, CTS focus on the core compatibility. Uh, if we do not pass CTS, then as a device manufacturer, I am not suitable or I'm not permitted to release my device. It's like that. So uh, GTS is specifically aimed at verifying the compatibility of Google mobile services and Google apps on Android devices. 
I hope you got a difference between CTS and GTS. CTS includes everything, everything on an Android device, whereas a GTS includes only GMS apps, that is Google Mobile Services apps, which are available on Google apps. Okay. Uh, to pass GTS, a device must meet Google's specific requirements for GMS integration and compatibility. All this should be maintained. For example, you as a manufacturer write one sample application and that application is, uh, you write your own Maps application and that application is causing the Google Maps app to crash or uh, your app might not uh, allow Google Map apps to function correctly. So, in order to check such cases or such vulnerabilities, we have to make sure we pass all the GTS test cases defined by Google. Next, we'll see what is this VTS. VTS stands for Vendor Test Suit. It's a set of test cases designed for device manufacturers and component suppliers to verify that their customizations and hardware components meet Android's compatibility requirement. So VTS is basically um, depending on device manufacturing i mean the hardware components okay for example there are different hardwares we use on our android devices camera bluetooth components wi-fi components battery related components all these hardware manufacturers and device manufacturers must make sure they pass this vts defined by google otherwise they will not be allowed to release their products So uh, VTS includes test cases for hardware compatibility such as camera functionality and uh, sensors, other devices, specific features. And it's also used to validate that the customizations and hardware added by the uh, device manufacturers meets the overall Android experience. Okay, whatever the device manufacturer is adding all the customizations and the hardware related features, it should meet with the Android platform. That's the main goal of VTS. And passing VTS is absolutely necessary for device manufacturers to obtain Android certification. Without the device manufacturers passing VTS, they will not get the Android certification. Without Android certification, they will not be able to uh, release their product to the market. So basically, CTS, GTS, VTS, all this is done by device manufacturers. Uh, there are multiple types of Android uh, device manufacturers, right? So in order to release their product to the market, they have to undergo all these test cases to make sure whatever customizations they are adding is not interfering with the uh, default uh, Android uh, provided features by google i hope you all got uh, some idea at least uh, about what is cts gts and vts so in order to summarize cts is a broad set of tests to ensure compatibility with the android platform gts is focused on ensuring compatibility with google apps and services Whereas VTS is for verifying customizations and hardware components introduced by device manufacturers. So all three of them, CTS, GTS, VTS are very, very important for ensuring that Android devices are reliable, secure, as well as compatible with the Android ecosystem. Okay, uh, we should not uh, write something we should not write some code which will hamper the normal android functionality no in order to make sure everything will run smoothly in order to make sure whatever uh, customizations we add or whatever code changes we are making is uh, compatible with the already present android uh, features all these uh, test cases are very very necessary so i hope you all uh, got an idea of what these three things are cts gts as well as vts in my next session uh, i'll be telling about why exactly these things are needed and what will happen if we do not do cts gts vts test cases so let's continue this topic in our next video too i hope this introductory topic was helpful to everyone Thank you all. I'll see you all soon in my next session. Until then, everyone, take care. Bye.